Hey guys, I hope that I am live right now and you guys are able to listen to me properly. Please let me know. Hello everyone. Uh, hello everyone. I hope that I'm live right now and you guys are able to listen to me properly as well. Are you guys able to listen to me properly? Please do let me know. Great guys. Awesome. Awesome. I was actually in another class right now, guys. That is the reason why I was a bit late, a tad bit late for today's class, but no issues in that. Okay. Uh, so I'm currently conducting a, like a career counseling session for these guys. So I was just planning out with them that how to conduct the session and everything. That is the reason why I got a tad bit late, but, uh, no issues in that guys, no issues in that. Um, let me know guys. Uh, so we'll not be wasting any more time. Do let me know what have you studied in our previous class guys. Do let me know what have you studied in our previous class guys. So we started studying about Git, right guys? Please let me know. So first we'll do a quick revision, right guys? First we'll do a quick revision out of it. Okay. So what we are going to do guys, uh, today our aim is to just uh, understand this concept of branching. Uh, what is this master branch or what is this pointer, the head pointer that we were having right over here. Okay. That will be our first job to do that. Secondly, we will explore the GitHub uh, platform. Okay, we will explore the GitHub platform. What is Git? What is the difference between Git and GitHub? Okay, we'll try to understand that as well. And the third thing that we will be doing today is we'll be starting to understand the concept of the Docker. What is Docker and why do we require it? Okay, we'll just try to understand it. It's nothing too fancy. Okay, it's nothing too very different about it. We'll just try to understand it, guys. Will that be fine, guys? Please let me know. Will that be fine guys? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand it? Uh, please let me know guys. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Amazing guys. Amazing. You guys are so smart, man. Like I sometimes feel envious to you. Really? When I was in college, anything new that I used to learn, nah, I, I used to spend like five, six hours just trying to understand like, when I was first studying Git, I, I'm telling you by, I swear on my mother's life that for the first time when, when I was studying Git, I spent six hours trying to just understand what Git was. Like I used to be so dumb that I couldn't even understand the simplest of the concepts as well. But you guys are so smart and so intelligent. You guys are able to understand everything in just one hour and that too at just one, like in one go itself. I feel so envious about you guys, but uh, that's great guys. Keep up this good work. I'm so proud of you guys that you guys are so smart and I am able to interact with you guys right now. I'm really proud about even myself and you guys as well. Okay. So, uh, uh, great. So let's start with our today's class guys. Please let me know. Let's start with our today's class guys. Please let me know. Let's start with our today's class guys. Please let me know. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. So let's get started guys. We won't be wasting any more time. So uh, yesterday we were looking at some git uh, commands, right? So could you guys let me know uh, some basic commands, some quick revision. What is the command to initialize git? Okay. What is the command to initialize git guys? Could you guys let me know? What is the command to initialize git guys? Could you guys let me know? Ritwik, just talk to your career counselor and he will be able to help you out with that. Good. Git init was the command to initialize git. Right guys? Great. Now what are the three uh, 
like what are the three stages that git divides our workload in what are the three stages guys the drawing that i showed you guys what are the three stages inside of which git divides our workload in but you guys if you guys are not able to remember no issues will it's a revision will revise it quickly there's no issues in that guys okay what are the three uh, stages in which working dir staging and repo so taha said amazing taha thank you so much for asking that are the three working directory staging and repo guys these are the three stages in which uh, git basically organizes our workload now how to add files from working directory to staging area could you guys let me know what command should i use to add files from a working directory to my staging area guys please do let me know git add thank you so much uh aman uh, nahesh uh okay now i'm not able to spell your name i'm so sorry but thank you so much aman uh, that was great so git add is able to do that for you guys now how to move stuff from your uh, like staging area to your repo guys how to move stuff from your staging area to repo what is the command for that guys what is the command for that git commit that's great ritu okay git commit is the command to move stuff from the staging area to our uh, repo itself the next command that we want to see is if i want to check the current status of what is happening inside of my git uh, like folder how can i check the status guys how can i check the status of the changes that i'm currently doing okay git status that's great guys git status will give me the current status of the changes that i'm currently doing what if i want to check the previous commits that i've done what if i want to check the previous commits that i've done up till now guys which command should i use to see the previous commits guys git log that's amazing guys git log is the command that we will be using so you guys are able to remember the everything okay that's really amazing guys you guys were able to remember everything that we have learned yesterday okay not even a single thing you guys have forgotten that's that's really commendable guys these small things is what is going to make you guys successful in your life okay so amazing guys i'm so proud of you <coughs> anything else guys that we have not um dealt with up till this particular point of time guys please let me know anything else that i forgot to uh like revise guys please let me know now can you repeat what git log is for yes yes right now itself i will just do that so let me clear this off for you guys so whatever commits that we have done up till now guys whatever commits that we have done up till now you can check the current uh like you can check all those commits right now itself guys so if i am writing this right over here git log okay it will show me the log okay what is you what do you mean by log log basically means to record something in english the term log log means to record something right over here it is showing me a record of all the commits that i have done up till now so for example the first particular comment that i had committed who committed it okay when was it committed what is the information along the same that it was committed guys second the second commit that i did who did that commit when it was did okay adding so what was the commit okay the message with the commit guys and then the latest commit that i've done and this is the current branch that i'm at head master ritwik not responding sir he said he was outside i missed today's class uh, ritwik could you do one thing could you message me on linkedin or uh, can you message me on linkedin ritwik please do let me know i will get it sorted tonight itself ritwik can you message me on linkedin itself i will get it sorted tonight at any cost good so now what we are going to do is we are trying going to understand how to move so for example like i said guys what is git git is a version control system okay what is git guys git is a version control system right guys so i told you guys we can go from one version to a previous version as well okay we can go from one version to a previous version as well right guys 
up till now we have seen how to commit stuff we have seen how to add to staging but how can i go from my current commit to a previous version of my software guys how can i do that we need to check that as well that is the reason why we are using git right that is why git was created and we haven't seen that how can this be possible let us see that right now itself so i will just open our file inside of vs code guys give me a second because even i have forgotten where i have kept that file okay 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 where are you main where are you demo devops i think so demo git okay i am able to find it let me open a vs code guys if i am not able to get like if i die guys i i am letting you guys know that i am dying due to uh, a lot of heat right over here okay it was not my fault i didn't kill myself it was the heat that killed me i am so 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 tired right now due to all the sweating but like people are like you are fat you should sweat <laughs> But I can't do shit about it. Okay, so right over here, guys, as you are able to see inside of this current folder that we had created, demo git, guys. Inside of this current folder that we have created, demo git, guys, you are able to see demo one dot py, in which we are having print, uh, hello world. This is Shoresina, right, guys? And please remember these two things, guys. Currently, we are having a demo one dot py file that is containing print, hello world. This is Shoresina. Please remember this, guys. Take up a screenshot if you are not able to remember it. Uh, Rithvik, uh, you can uh, message me on LinkedIn. My LinkedIn ID is down in the description of the video itself. My LinkedIn ID is down with the description of the video itself, guys. Okay. So please take a screenshot if you are not able to remember it. Then the next particular file is demo two dot py. Demo two dot py is containing print DevOps right over here, right guys? Print DevOps right over here, right guys? If you're not able to remember, just take a screenshot. No issues in that, guys. So what we're going to do is we are going to go right over here, and then what we're going to do is we are going to check. We are going to go to a previous version, the first version, guys. Currently, we are right over here inside of a commit. Our head is right over here, guys, in the first commit. We want to go into the last commit, guys. We want to go into the last commit right over here, guys. Last commit, okay? So the current version, where where is your current version located at? That is what is shown by this head pointer. That is what is shown by this head pointer, guys. Okay, where is our current uh like current version situated at? That is at our head pointer, guys. I want to shift it to this particular commit. I want to go to a very previous commit, guys. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to do git. I'm going to do git check out. Okay, git check out. And then I will paste this ID, guys. I will paste this ID. I'll just copy this ID from right over here. Oh, shit. Okay, I did some shitty ass thing. I'll just copy this ID from right over here, guys. Okay. Not going to type you. Okay. So git check out and then I'm going to write do a right click and paste that ID guys. I'm going to do a right click and paste that ID guys as you are able to see right over here. Uh, and then I'm going to press enter. Okay. So as you are able to see now if I do git and then log if I do git log right over here as you are able to see we are currently present at the initial commit. All the above commits is gone. We are having three commits right over here, guys, right? We were having three commits right over here and our head was present inside of our original commit, right, guys? Please let me know. Our head was present at the original commit, right, guys? Now we have shifted to this commit. We have shifted to this commit, guys. We have shifted to this commit right over here, the initial commit. As you are able to see, it is showing the initial commit. Okay, let us go back to our VS code, guys. Let us see what is we are able to see in our VS code. We go to our VS code as you are able to see demo 2.py does not exist anymore. It is just demo 1.py. Okay. Uh, and we are having print hello world right over here. <coughs> Respected sir, to message you on LinkedIn, we require premium. Yeah. Really? 
uh i don't know man i don't <laughs> i don't know why is that the case you can follow me on linkedin i guess like that is the how it works you can follow me on linkedin itself i have no idea but if it is not working you can message me on uh, instagram as well my instagram id is also down below but, and from instagram i think so you don't need premiums to message anybody so right over here guys as you are able to see demo2.py is gone completely we are present in the first version of our commit we were at the third version we are now present at the first version of our commit guys are you guys able to see this please do let me know are you guys able to see this and understand this please let me know guys So now if I want to go back to my old, old, like newest version, this is the old version guys. I want to go back. So here itself, everything went back to the previous version directly. Everything went back to the previous version directly. So how did I do that? I just wrote git and then I wrote the ID git checkout and then the ID where I want to go. Okay. Git checkout and then the ID where I want to go. So the ID I got it from here. This is the ID. This is the commit ID guys. Right click copy and then right click paste. So this is where this initial commit is where I am as you are able to see note switching to this particular ID. Now if I want to go back, if I want to go back to my original version guys, if I want to go back to my original version. I can just write get check out master. Okay, I can just write get checkout master guys. That is the latest version that I'm having master. That is the master version as you're able to see head is present at master right now head is present at as you're able to see head is present at this particular commit guys because of a checkout. Okay, head is present at this particular uh, commit guys. Now I will just press enter right over here guys and as you're able to see previous head position was blah 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 initial commit. Switch back to master. Now if I do git log, you are able to see that we are again present at our master commit itself. We are again present at our master commit. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to understand this guys? Please let me know. What if we use only get checkout? What are you checking out? You, you need to check out somebody or something, right? Either it be a boy or it be a dog, whatever you are checking out, you, it needs to be something. So right over here, we are checking out a particular commit. Okay, so it needs to be something. It needs to be the master commit. It needs to be a branch. It needs to be a particular commit itself. Something you need to check out. Okay, otherwise, what are you doing? What are you checking out in your life? Okay, the next thing that we want to do is we want to understand something about this concept of branch guys. So for example, I can go back to the second commit as well. Let me just copy this particular commit out. I'll copy this out. I'll paste it right over here. So get COMMIT commit. Sorry, sorry, check out. Sorry. T H E C K check O U T check out. And then I'll paste it right over here, guys. I'll paste it right over here. Then go to a previous commit, guys. The second particular commit, the second commit. I can just check it right over here as well. Get uh, log as you are able to see there are only two commits that I'm able to see right over here. I'm able to go over only two commits that I'm able to see right over here guys. And then I can just go back and I'm able to see that I'm having demo1.py but it is just saying print hello world. If you remember demo1.py used to say something else. If check your screenshots what did demo1.py used to say in the original master version guys. What did the demo of 1.py used to say in the original master version? It was a very long text guys. Okay. It was a very long text right over here. It's just hello world. And we are also having our demo 2.py as well. Okay. We are also having our demo 2.py. Okay. So this is how you can jump from one commit to another as well. Okay, you can jump off from one commit to another. Are you guys able to understand this? Please let me know. Uh... You can check out the branches that are there. So now at one time, various different people are working on your software. Please try to understand this. 
Okay, in a company, there is not just one person who is working on a software. There are various different persons who are working on a software, guys. Please do remember that. For example, this is your main software. Okay, this is your main software, guys. This is version 1, this is version 2, this is version 3. Okay, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, guys. This is your original versions, guys. Okay, this is your original software. <coughs> but not just... Now, this is software that is used by your users. This is a software that is used by your users. Okay, this is the final software that is there, guys. Now, you are having thousands of different developers that are out there, okay? That are out there working on this particular software. Now, whatever they are working on, you cannot give that to the user because it will have a lot of faults, a lot of bugs, a lot of problems with that. You can only give this, whatever software is present in this particular straight line, that is what will be given to the users, that is what will be given to the users. Let's assume one of the users, if they one of the software engineers wants to add some new features in version 2. Currently, the software is version 1. I am a particular software engineer. I want to add some new things. So what I'll do is I will create a branch. I'll create a branch, guys. I will start working right over here. I will add some new features to this. Let me use another pen, guys, so that you guys are able to understand it. I will create a new branch right over here of the software, the same software. I will add some new features to it. I will add some new features to it and these features I will merge it back with the software. So now the version 2 is basically this. This is our version 2 guys. This is our version 2 that got added right over here from this branch to the main branch. Okay, from this branch to the main branch. Now the development will continue to have to happen right over here guys. The development will continue to happen right over here. There will be various different features being added. Okay. And maybe some other, maybe another software engineer is coming up that will take off a branch from right over here as well. And he will try to add some new features according to him, what he feels is suitable to him. And then he will add it with your software. So that is how, this is very complicated guys. This is very complicated guys. In, in software engineering, you have a dedicated team that basically just handles this for you. That is the DevOps team. It handles this for you because just like forking different softwares up and then merging different software up, thousands of branches are existing at the same particular point of time. One branch got merged like that was created some like six, seven, eight years ago that got branch merged right now and it is causing a chaos, uh, like a chaos in the entire uh, software itself. All these different things happen. But the point that I'm trying to make you guys understand is how to create these branches. Okay, that we should understand guys how to create this branches guys okay so what we are going to do is to create these branches is absolutely very simple let us first check what are the different branches that we have currently guys what are the different branches that we currently have guys so we'll just write git b r a n c h branch okay as you're able to see we currently have only the master branch guys we currently have only the master branch, nothing else guys, only the master branch. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. Are you guys able to see this? Please let me know. We currently have only the master branch, right? Let us create another branch guys. Let us create another branch and call it as the dev branch. Let us call it as the dev branch. We'll call this git branch branch dev okay git branch dev we are creating a new branch the master branch is already there i want to create a new branch called as the dev branch okay call as the dev branch guys so i will press enter okay to check this uh, now once i've created this branch guys so now i've created a new branch called as dev branch okay i already have the original branch master branch now i'm having the dev branch right over here guys let us check what are the current branches so how to check what are the current branches guys? Could you guys let me know? How to check what are the current branches guys? Could you guys let me know? How to check what are the current branches guys? Could you guys let me know? Get branch Taha Sayed. Amazing guys. Again, again Taha Sayed is the first one to answer. That's great. So get B-R-A-N-C-H branch. 
and that is basically giving us two branches that we are having the master branch and the dev branch guys okay the master branch <laughs> branch and the dev branch guys now currently i am situated in the master branch okay how do i know that i am situated in the master branch how do i know that as you are able to see on the top it is written master right over here that basically tells me that currently i am situated on the master branch on the top as you are able to see whenever you are writing your command you are able to see master written right over here that basically tells me that i am currently situated on the master branch now i want to shift to the dev branch guys i want to shift to the dev branch very simple git check out okay dev okay give check out dev guys so that will switch me to the dev branch as you are able to see now i am able to see dev written right over here instead of master are you guys able to see this please let me know are you guys able to see this please let me know guys that basically shows that i am currently situated on the dev branch guys good now i want to uh, so i want to create a branch as well as go on that branch currently i am situated on my dev branch i want to create a new branch and i want to shift to that branch i don't want to be on the dev branch i want to create a new branch and shift to dev branch immediately if i want to do it in two steps first i will create a branch by writing the uh, git uh, branch and the branch new branch name then i would have to write git checkout and the new branch name so instead of doing it in two separate lines i can do it in just one line as well guys i can do it in just one line okay and it is very simple git checkout okay git checkout then hyphen b and then your branch name new branch name guys as simple as that so let us uh, the new branch name will create it as my name okay who is making this branch who is making this branch so shorya is making this branch and what are you currently doing on this branch okay what is your aim with this branch so i will write a uh, m e s s a g e message okay shorya hyphen message so i would just want to change the message that is there inside of hello world that is what i want to do on this branch so i'm going to do git checkout hyphen b how do you shift to the dev branch by writing git checkout dev okay by writing give git checkout dev now i want to create okay now i want to create the dev uh, i want to create a new branch called as shorya uh, uh, forward slash message i want to create uh, that branch and i want to shift to that branch as well so git checkout hyphen b shorya forward slash message so this will create that branch as well as shift it to me so as you are able to see i have created a new branch and i have shifted myself to shorya forward slash message are you guys able to see this please let me know are you guys able to see this please let me know guys good so if i go back to my uh, vs code i will make some changes to demo2.py i will add devops is amazing new message branch okay so i'm just writing i'm changing the text inside of devops to uh, demo2 guys okay devops is amazing new uh, message branch guys i'm just changing the text my hyphen b is for telling uh, the checkout message to create a new branch as well as shift us to that particular branch as well that is the hyphen b okay now if i go back to my git i will do git and then status as we are able to see it is telling us that we have modified okay we have modified uh, this and it is currently not staged for commit okay it is currently not staged for commit guys first we need to add that right guys first we need to add that so i will do uh, git add dot okay git add dot guys that will add everything right over here okay git add dot guys and then i will commit that okay git mm it commit okay and i will commit uh, and i will add the message as well my <coughs> changed 
demo two dot py message you can enter right over here then i will add a new file as well guys i will add a new file i will create a new file right over here demo three dot py and i will write some message right over here print okay i'm just writing a simple line print hi guys okay i'm just adding a new demo 3.py i have added print hi right over here i will go back i will check get status i will do git add demo 3.py file i will do git status and i will do git cmmit commit hyphen m add added a new file demo c dot py enter and i have made the proper commits right over here guys okay i have made the proper commits right over here guys now if i go back to a previous uh so right over here guys as you are able to see we are having demo 1 dot py demo 2 dot py demo 3 dot py as well as you are able to see we are having all three of it right over here guys if I go back and I go to a previous branch, I will go to the dev branch. Right now I'm at the Shorya forward slash message branch. I want to go to the dev branch. What is the code that I should write to go back to my dev branch, guys? Could you guys let me know? What uh, command should I write to go back to my dev branch, guys? Could you guys let me know? I've already told you guys. Get check out Dev amazing Naman uh, Naman thank you so much get check out Dev guys get check out Dev okay so I, as you are able to see right now we are in the Dev branch as you are able to see we are in the Dev branch and we are switched back to Dev itself we will go back to our code as you are able to see demo 3.py is not at all there it is there inside of the Dev branch Shorya forward slash uh, message but it is not there inside of our dev branch itself are you guys able to understand this please let me know are you guys able to understand it inside of the dev file there is no demo 3.py inside of the shorya forward slash message demo 3.py is also there now what we are going to do is we are going to merge these two paths together merge these two branches together guys okay we are going to merge these branches together that is what we are going to do right now we are going to merge these branches together guys so we are going to merge the dev branch and the shorya forward slash message branch itself so we'll go back and we will merge them together so git prge merge so that will create one single branch for us okay that will create one single branch for us guys so git merge Shorya forward slash M E S S A G E message. Okay, Shorya forward slash message itself. As you are able to see, it has done two insertions and one deletions, guys. It has done two insertions and one deletion, guys. Okay, so if I check get log right over here, as you are able to see, adding a demo to two dot py added some test in hello world program change demo 2.py added a new file demo 3.py all this is currently done in the dev we are in the dev branch guys we are not in the shorya forward slash message we are in the dev branch so if you go back and you are able to see all the three files are now present inside of the dev branch because we have merged now there is no shorya forward slash message we have merged it with the dev branch guys we have merged it with the dev branch are you guys able to understand this please let me know we have merged it with the dev branch guys there is no there is no uh shorya forward slash message that branch that we created whatever changes that we did we merged it we merged it and now only dev dot uh dev uh branch is currently present only the dev branch is currently present guys Now 
we will go back to our master uh, itself we'll go back to our master clear do it clear we'll go back to our master so git uh let's check up git branch okay we'll go back to our currently we are present in the day we'll go back to our master git uh how to go back to the master okay how to go back to the master guys please let me know currently we are present in the div uh, dev branch how to go back to the master check out good we'll switch back to the master we'll do git merge with dev and if you go back right now we are currently the master and as you are able to see now master has all the three things guys master has all the three things inside of it and all the different commits that we did will also be able to see inside of master so git log all the commits that we have done up till now we will be able to see it inside of master okay all the commits will be able to see inside of our master guys all the commits all the commits we are able to see it inside of our master guys as you are able to see right over here see all this thing will require you guys to watch this video once again to make down notes and understand it properly okay so basically yes you are working like the thanos of the multiverse and you are merging timelines right over here <laughs> you can think about it in that way as well but you will have to spend some time tonight okay watch the video once again try to understand it make down notes and because this is a very important thing guys this is a very 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 important thing right over here i'm not kidding about it okay i'm teaching you guys this because it is very important from your career perspective itself if it was not i wouldn't have been teaching you guys this if any developer who does not understand how to use github or git is a particular person that is not like uh, entitled to be calling himself or herself as a developer that is what i'm saying okay so the next thing that we need to understand is we understood git okay what is github we understood git but what is github guys okay so this is github as you are able to see on my screen this is my github profile guys let me just open it for you guys so that you guys are able to see it properly so git is a software that you use locally for your own usage git is a software okay that you are using for your own personal usage itself all the things that you are doing in git nobody else is able to see it okay all, all the things that you are doing in git all the branches that you are creating all the commits that you are doing all the adding that you are doing all the staging that you are doing nobody is able to see it only you are able to see it now a hub what is a hub a hub means community a hub means community itself a community wherein everybody can do that and anybody can check out anybody is else all the different commits all the different ads all the different changes everything that you are doing on a platform globally that is what github is github is a platform that has utilized the concepts of git and provided it to the masses for them to use as they seem fit it's like a social media of git okay github is like the social media of git guys are you guys able to understand this please do let me know are you guys able to understand this please let me know guys yes you can call it as the social media of code as well guys social media of code 
just like nowadays anyone who is aiming for getting a job if he does not has a resume if he does not has a linkedin profile so this is my linkedin profile itself right over here guys you need to have a linkedin profile you need to have a github profile and a resume if you don't have these three things you are not going to get placed everybody needs to have a linkedin profile everybody needs to have a github profile everybody needs to have a resume nowadays for placements in it that is how important github has become and to utilize github in a proper manner you need to know git okay because git is what basically runs github okay git is the technology behind github so if you don't know git you cannot use github and when you are using github it would be a very shitty as github that you are using anybody can see it and let you know that you don't know how to use github or git as a technology that is the reason why i first taught you guys git now i'm telling you guys the importance of git that is that is what you use for maintaining your projects inside of github that is why it is so important guys that is why it is so important okay so please do create your github account okay it is as simple as creating your instagram facebook snapchat accounts itself okay it's not that difficult with you guys uh i know that you guys are very smart and you guys will be easily able to do it okay so please focus upon that guys the next thing that we are going to do right now is that we are going to understand the next particular topic that is devops Okay, we are going to understand the next particular topic, guys. That is DevOps. DevOps is a very important topic, so please give a lot of focus upon it. Today, we are just going to talk about the intuition behind DevOps. Okay, we are not even going to go into theory. Okay, we are just going to go into the intuition behind DevOps. From tomorrow, we will be looking at what is DevOps from a theoretical and a practical standpoint. So, even if you are not able to understand anything today. even if you are not able to understand anything today about devops no worries we are going to go into a lot of depth about devops in the next few days okay right over here guys in the live chat i have provided you guys with the attendance link the atf this is the first attendance link guys the attendance link will be closed exactly at uh, 925 guys the attendance link will be closed exactly at 925 guys i have provided you guys the attendance link the attendance link will be closed exactly at 920 uh two sorry 922 the attendance thing will be closed exactly at 922 guys okay you have up till 922 to fill out i will just look at my instagram right now gana shri don't worry <clears throat> you have up till 922 to fill out the attendance okay a lot of messages are there So anyway, the next year, this year, really informed. I have submitted attendance form as well. Send it live, but I have received my first day mail. Could you check it? Accept. The screenshot proofs. What? Okay, so that has been done. I got the certificates for JavaScript, CSS, HTML bootcamp. Should I upload it on LinkedIn, Sohan? Of course, you should do that. My first day attendance will not submit, sir. But I am joining a lecture, sir. So, uh, see if you are if you are missing out on one days of attendance, we'll take care of that for you guys. You don't have to worry about it. Where is the attendance link? Open your eyes to see where is the attendance link. So what is Git for desktop? It is basically a visualize. So whatever we are doing in the command line, you can do it all using a cursor. So that is what Git for desktop is. Uh, sir, the link is not open. Uh, Biswa, every day I am telling you guys, if the link does not open, what to do? I will not be telling you once again. Okay, you should already know it. So why attendance need to fill two times? Rebo music because there are various very uh, like brainy people. Who fill the attendance link and then they are just gone from the class. That is the reason why we fill it two times. Uh, multiverse of Git. <laughs> okay, lecture over. No, not at all. We are going to study a little bit more. Like I said, we will be studying about DevOps right now. We'll be studying about DevOps right now. Okay, intuition behind DevOps. That will be our aim, guys. 
the link is not open bishwa very good if the link is not open then you are not going to get the certificate i am so sorry for that because the link is not open according to you but everybody else almost 1500 and uh, this is for hands on cloud computing where is the so devops 1587 people have already filled so bishwa only for you i have kept it close everybody else is able to open it no issues uh, .NET भी सिखा दो सी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न डॉट नेट ओके यू कैन गो ट्वेंटी ईयर्स इन टू द पास्ट एंड लर्न इट राइट नाउ इफ यू आर लर्निंग डॉट नेट यू विल नॉट गेट एनी प्लेसमेंट्स इवन इफ यू आर गेटिंग अ प्लेसमेंट फॉर टू थ्री लैख रुपीज अयर आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू गेट सच प्लेसमेंट्स टू माई स्टूडेंट्स यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न बैक इन डेवलपमेंट लर्न दी एंटायर मर्न स्टैक मॉन्गोडी बी एक्सप्रेस नोट जी एस Sir, we will study cloud computing. I was attending the last live class also, cloud computing one two hours ago. No, not in this boot camp. Maybe in the future we'll have it once again. Do not worry. The attendance link will be closed in the next one minute, guys. The attendance link will be closed in the next one minute. The attendance link will be closed in the next one minute. today i got the link so how can i join just be live fill out your attendance that is how you can join as simple as that when new batch of cloud computing we don't teach cloud computing separately we teach cloud computing along with full stack development devops front end back end cloud computing ui ux we teach everything once like at once don't do it individually is there anything left for git no not at all I have taught you guys almost everything that exists inside of Git, guys. I have taught you guys almost everything that I've uh, that exists inside of Git. So you don't have to worry about it. Have you had your dinner? No, I did not. I'm feeling very hot, so maybe I'll go out for a walk after this because from the morning I've just like he work, 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 work. Now my brain is all like that is the reason why. Okay. So now I'll close the attendance link, guys. I will close the attendance link. Those people who are live with us have already filled up their attendance link. So I don't have to worry about anybody else. How to stop a merge operation in Git Bash by not doing it? As simple as that. Actually, there is no AC. I have just recently shifted to this particular uh, villa, guys. So we are currently in the process of shifting everything. So uh, let me show it to you guys. Let me show the area around. Give me a second. Where is my OBS? This is me. I will make this a bit bigger. I think so. That should be it. So actually, this is where I am sitting. Okay, that is now that 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 is gone. Give me a second. Now it should be working. So that is where I sit and work, guys. That is my setup. So if you are able to see on the corner, that is my CPU. That is my chair. That is my monitor that I'm having right now. Uh, I need to change my mouse and keyboard. It's actually upstairs, right over there. So I will have to do that. That is uh, why this is the place. This is where we plan things out for you guys. That what should we teach? How should we take up the boot camps and everything? That is also the place where we are currently formulating the campus ambassador programs and uh, how to make sure that you guys are getting so learning portal, how to make the recruitment portal and everything. All that development is currently happening on. So all those things get planned right over there by me. So that is my small office where I work for you guys. But yeah, in the future I might uh, increase it. I might give you guys a tour of the house as well someday. I want to, but I'm not getting enough time to actually do that. But maybe one day I will just give you guys a small tour of the house. I will make you guys meet all my cats. So I've adopted a ginger cat right now, like a ginger-based cat. I'm having it right now. I've named her, him him Toby. I'm having a black uh, Persian cat that is Oscar. I'm having a white Persian cat as well that is Lucy. I'm having a golden retriever named Suzy, as well as in a few days, by twentieth March, I will be having one more dog, a black-colored uh, cocker spaniel as well. So 
so she is also going to come on 20th march after that i'm planning to get a uh, sizu and a uh, husky at the same time so let us see a lot of planning i love animals i will get them no matter who, what somebody is saying uh but yeah not juicy it's suzy suzy one is lucy l u uh, s y uh, l u z y and one is s u z y suzy okay yeah ginger cats are built different man like i see my both the persian cats sleeping the entire day and the ginger cat being like you she 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 i'm like bro come on like <laughs> okay and a lot of different things man uh, in my room i have somewhere around like almost 50 60 different anime figures and everything like proper action figures i'm having so yeah okay do you have to learn git to python to operate git uh, no not at all uh, we didn't even write one line of code inside of python you don't need to know it git is just git okay um uh, see i have a 4700 uh, square meters villa right over here in bangalore and then a 2700 square uh, penthouse in belandur that i'm currently going to leave so i have a lot of space for animals to be there and from my childhood i loved animals like i love them with everything that i have so that is the reason why i i, I like to adopt animals i like to buy animals as well so yeah adopt animals okay so good and uh, the next thing that we are going to do is figure out where did these 500 people go okay how do you earn so much money to buy so many different animals so basically i work in uh, two separate factors three separate factors actually the first one is my job so that pays me very well my package is around 90 lakhs per annum so as a software engineer you get paid a lot if you are working properly so i get around like 4 lakh rupees every single month from there uh then uh, for uh, dev town what we have done is that for example the amount that is required to run this particular youtube channel is somewhere about 2 to 3 lakh rupees to run this youtube channel itself we require somewhere around 2 to 3 3 lakh rupees per month to run the channel so for that uh, youtube revenue is somewhere around 50 to 60000 rupees per month we get 50 to 60000 rupees per month from the youtube revenue so that basically helps us to cover up some of our cost and whatever we do at either we do it for free or we do it at cost so for example if i need to organize these boot camps i'm going to spend 3 lakh rupees a month so i will charge that much from you guys not right now i'm just giving you an example <laughs> we do it for free but i'm just giving you guys an example itself so in that particular way devtown does not give me any money but it does not take any money from me as well so i'm able to enjoy the process of just teaching students and just being a mentor that's it the third thing that i'm currently working is on an agricultural startup so that is where uh, most of my money comes in from so we earn somewhere around 5 to 6 lakhs per month on, on that uh, we sell uh, like hydroponic based uh, product to clients and uh, i have developed it myself i am the one who created so that is how i basically get some extra amount of cash to look forward to keeping my uh, cats and dogs and all these kind of stuff as well <clears throat> okay so let's start off with the class guys let's start off with the class without wasting any time so uh, let's do one thing uh, let us try to understand uh, what is devops okay how many of you guys understand what is vmware could you guys let me know how many of you guys understand what is vm or virtual machines and how many of you guys don't understand what is virtual machines guys could you guys please let me know how many of you guys don't understand virtual machines could you guys let me know guys those who don't understand virtual machines just write no or i don't or something like that in the live chat so that i am able to understand it okay many of you guys have no idea how many of you guys understand operating system okay how many of you guys don't understand operating system that should be the question how many of you guys don't understand what is an operating system guys could you guys let me know how many of you guys don't understand what is an operating system for example android mac os windows 
these are all examples of operating systems guys i think so everybody and anybody right over here in this live chat should understand what is windows what is uh, android what is mac os what is ios that everybody should know that uh, os i'm not going to explain it to you guys that you should know everybody knows that okay so what happens is that for example i am currently using a windows laptop right over here right guys please let me know i am currently using a windows laptop right over here guys right now i want to run another os inside of it i want to run mac os inside of it as well okay i want to run mac os i want to have a macbook inside of my uh, computer itself inside of a windows computer itself we have two different os now the first particular solution that is there is that i will install another os inside of my computer right guys i will install another os inside of my computer and then when i am switching on my computer when i am switching on my computer i will have to tell it that okay do not use windows os use mac os to switch on my computer itself that is possible that is possible it's a very tricky thing it will not work 90% of the time but it is possible to because like i said it will not work 90% of the time itself that is the reason why we came up with a new solution that what if if we were able to put another computer inside of this computer itself okay what if if we were able to put another computer inside of this computer itself so i'm having my windows open right over here I will open an app called as VMware. Okay, I will open an app called as VMware inside of which I can open up another computer in its entirety. Okay, that VM can be anything. It can be another Windows. It can be another Linux. It can be uh, Mac OS. Anything that you want, and that we named it as virtual machines because it is not your computer inside your computer you are having another computer so that is what like inception inside a computer you are having another computer and that we call it as virtual machines what it does it it will take some part of your cpu some part of your ram some part of your memory to create a small virtual computer inside of the computer itself okay it will try to take up like 20% of your cpu 20% of your ram 20% of your storage it will bring all those things together virtually nothing physically it's not as if like it is taking your cpu and biting 20% out of it that is now how how it is happening it is just virtually by software by what do you mean by virtually you mean by software with the help of software itself it is telling that okay 20% of this cpu is mine okay 20% of this gpu is mine 20% of this ram is mine nobody else will use it i will use it okay and then it creates a virtual machine for your virtual computer which now opens up using mac os which now opens up using mac os guys now the problem with that okay now the problem with that is uh, the very 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 simple problem with that is that that it is very like it utilizes a lot of space okay it utilizes a lot of space a lot of resources because a os an operating system itself takes up a lot of space a lot of resources to get to work just to make it work it requires a lot of resources from your computer it is not that easy it's not as if it is very lightweight it is just like few mbs of few uh, kbs itself and it will start working it will take gbs of your space gbs of your ram it will take 20 30% of your cpu to start working itself that is how intensive resource intensive it is these virtual machines and the second particular problem with virtual machines is that everything is working fine inside of my computer that is a windows computer now i'm shifting my code from my windows computer into my virtual machine of mac os i'm shifting my code from my computer my windows computer into my virtual machine of mac os itself again it will not work properly this problem many of you guys must have faced it right this problem many of you guys must have faced it that you are making a project on your computer everything is working right over there you send that project to your friend's computer to your uh, professor's computer and it stopped working right over there 
that same problem because virtual machine is just another computer it is just another computer made using software so same problem happens right over there as well so what should we do we needed to solve this problem this problem of resource utilization this problem of space utilization this huge uh, space that is being utilized by the os this problem of making our software work everywhere no matter what os no matter what computer no matter what desktop we are using how can we do that so a computer sorry a company called as docker came into the picture guys a company so docker is not a technology please remember that containerization is a technology docker is a company guys are you guys are able to understand this docker is a company okay containerization is the technology itself are you guys able to understand it please do let me know docker is a company that used this technology of containerization to solve this issue in its entirety so what was the saying of docker okay so docker so let's assume that i am docker guys okay let's assume i am docker i am the one who is proposing the solution to you i am like ki uh, so to run a particular application you send it to your friend's computer right it was not working right over there do you do you require like a startup button inside of windows for your software to work is there any relationship between a start button this start button that you are able to see right over here the start button that is able to show you so many different applications is there any relationship between your software and this start button you are like no there is no relationship between my software and this start button right there is no software between my relationship between my software and this start button it is not related to each other is like then why do you require it why do you require an os to run your software what do you require to run your software let's assume that software is a web development software itself you require something to run your javascript i will give you just node js you require to run your express i'll just give you express and npm you require to run your mongodb i'll just give you the mongodb itself nothing else i will not give you an os because os takes up a lot of space and os takes up a lot of things guys so to reduce that he just removed the os from the equation and he told that whatever your software requires to run only that much i will package it up with the software itself so for example let's assume this is our software guys let's assume that this is our software i know my drawing is not that great but i still like this is like a gear like icon that i'm trying to develop right over here this is our software okay so it requires some oil it requires some uh, metal it requires some cutter it requires some uh, uh let's assume uh, ball bearings okay so i will just package all this up only the things that it requires inside of this container itself okay i will just package this up inside of something called as a container all the things that it requires to function properly for this software to run properly all the things that it requires i will containerize it together and give it to you so first it will be lightweight because all the altu phaltu things all the indu pundu shundu things that were already existing that your software was not even utilizing you have already removed it because your software does not require it so it is lightweight it is small in size it is portable enough second because it already has everything that it requires for it to live even if you take it to a mac os pc if you take it to a linux pc to an ubuntu pc to a, a windows pc it already has everything that it requires it does not require anything else from its surrounding it will work everywhere the same it will work everywhere the same there will be no issues whatsoever 
and we call this container as an image okay we call this container as an image itself so what happens is it is like a blueprint it's like a blueprint of the container so whenever you want to use it you just take that image you convert it into a container so you see the blueprint you run some codes that is what we are going to study from tomorrow what are these codes how does this all things being done practically itself so you run those codes right over there it will build that container for you guys and you can utilize it as simple as that because that image is like a blueprint it provides it with everything that is required for it to run okay are you guys able to understand see even if you are not able to understand do not worry about it guys even if you are not able to understand do not worry about it because we are going to look at it practically from tomorrow onwards but are you guys able to understand it right now guys please do let me know so vm right now is not something that we use for our development okay for like uh, it was used 20 years ago now it has been replaced by this concept of containerization dockerization itself that is the latest technology that is the latest devops process that is there that every company wants and nobody learns because nobody knows about it so you have a good opportunity right over here to learn the latest technology that is currently in demand in the market right now okay so take this up as an opportunity and properly learn things out okay so from tomorrow onwards we are going to explore this guys from tomorrow onwards we are going to explore this am i right guys or wrong please let me know okay so be on the class live tomorrow guys i'm sharing this attendance link with you guys right now in the live chat please start filling the attendance link up it will be closed exactly at 9:47 will be closed exactly at 9:47 guys this is the second attendance link for today start filling it up okay yes, this is the second attendance link for today it will be closed exactly at 9:47 guys we'll meet tomorrow at 7:30 we'll meet tomorrow at 7:30 guys okay thank you so much guys please fill it up by 9:47 we'll meet tomorrow at 7:30 thank you so much guys thank you bye guys bye bye guys have a good day